What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, just want to talk to my audience out there real quick because today we have a mother who's talking about how co-parenting with her child's father is pretty much the worst thing that she's ever had to deal with in her life, which I can understand because sometimes men go through the same thing. Co-parenting with the child's mother can be the worst thing that men can go through in their life too, but that's neither here nor there. Here's the issue with this mother. She states that she doesn't even want her son to come back home because of how much she hates her baby father. That's not a reason to not want your child back or not want to see your kid again. Once you become a mother, even if you have issues with that baby father, you should still give your child all that love that that child deserves from the from their mother. You shouldn't try to uh, be against that child, not show that child love, because sometimes you do have women that will um, mentally, I would say mentally abuse the child or verbally abuse the child just because the child reminds them reminds that woman of their father now i'm not gonna speak too much on this because this situation can definitely goes can go both ways i just honestly believe that this mother shouldn't want her child back just because she's having issues with the child's father maybe they i think they have a co-parenting thing going on and now she's just like you know my son isn't coming home today to hell with it because of because of the issues i'm having with the child's father I'm not gonna talk no more. Let's get right into the damn video. My son is not coming home today. At this point, I don't even know if I want him to ever come home. I really hate his dad, and it makes it so hard for me to like and care for him the way a mother should. Y'all will probably drag me in my comments, but I have to live in my truth. My baby daddy was bragging about how he took my virginity, and he kept bringing up old things that aren't even co-parenting related. So I told him that I fucked his best friend first and that I never cared about him. I hate co-parenting with him because he won't let go of the past. We've been broken up for 10 years now. And honestly, being with him is one of my biggest life regrets. But how do you look your own kid in their face knowing that it's impossible for you to fully love them the way a mother should because you hate their dad? The disagreement was so stupid and simple, but it resulted in my son showing up to school four hours late. Usually I would remove him from that situation, but this time instead of taking him away, I'm making him stay. Let's stop the damn video right there. Let's get to a couple of key points in this video. So she talks about how her baby father brings up old things in the past and y'all been broken up for 10 years. That right there, I really don't understand. To any men out there, you shouldn't be bringing up anything relevant to you and your baby mother's past if y'all not dealing with each other. I don't see no point in that. So I do agree with that. At the same time, one fault I see in this woman is her telling her baby father that she messed around with his best friend first. What was the point in telling him that? That's something you should have took to the grave. That's something you should take to the grave. You're, you're, you're out here trying to get up under his skin by telling him you messed around with his best friend, which is definitely devious as hell. I would definitely look at my child's mother sideways. I don't care if she messed with other guys by all means, but if I was rocking with a dude hard and it was my best friend, I would definitely look at that woman I was that woman I had a baby by sideways. But at the end of the day, when people co-parent, they need to have a mutual respect and try to co-parent the best they can for children. And trust me, I will tell you guys firsthand, some of you women too, I know that that can be one of the hardest things in the world. One of the hardest things in the world. I know co-parenting won't be easy sometimes, but I feel that if the kids are focused on and one person isn't trying to be too dominant as far as having too much control over the kids, I think that things will work out perfectly. 
they will work out great. The thing is, sometimes you have parents who co-parent with each other who try to overstep boundaries, and that's when situations can become tense. So my message to people that are co-parenting out there, just watch your boundaries with your child's mother or your child's father. Then any issues shouldn't come to light at all. Everything should mesh well, and y'all should only be discussing things that deals with the kids. Y'all shouldn't be discussing things about the past unless it deals with your kids. I would never discuss anything with my child's mother about things she's done in the past as far as talking to guys, messing with, I don't care. No guy should care about that. Let her do what she wants to do when it comes to men. As long as the situation with men doesn't affect what's going on with your kids. Like the man that she's dealing with isn't hurting your kids or being abusive to your kids in any type of way. It should be all about respect, a mutual respect. That guy doesn't have to talk to you. You don't have to talk to that guy, just like the, the woman you deal with. That woman doesn't have to talk to your child's mother and she doesn't have to talk to them. Now, they can if they want to. It's fine. They want to be cordial. But it shouldn't come in between y'all two as parents loving your kids. And the people that y'all are dealing with should definitely not be come between you and the kids. All right. That's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.